Retro! Retro! I don't know if he's here yet. Um, because this is kind of important. This is probably gonna be like one of those quick releases. Okay. Chat, for those who don't know, a few days ago, Overwatch 2 got <coughs> a massive leak. Overwatch 2 got a massive leak. Um, there was a leak that came out that Overwatch 2 is going to be released in the summer of 2022. The reason that's important is Overwatch 2 has been in limbo and has had no updates for us basically since BlizzCon, even though we were told um, we were going to be getting monthly updates. We've gotten actually nothing. Um, then the lawsuit um, scandal happens. Um, and, and in my opinion, the timeline went off the rails hard um reason for that being you have 20 teams in the overwatch league that have spent millions of dollars to invest that have no idea when this game is coming the league is in decline the game is in decline not knowing anything at all i'm sure there was some massive pressure from the league and from the teams to start getting some type <coughs> Dude, I haven't coughed at all all day, and now I'm coughing like crazy. What the fuck is this? Um, it's a massive pressure to have an update. And considering the bad PR and stuff, I wouldn't be surprised if this is actually like a more rushed release. That said, let's go through it. And, I'll, and I, know, I know this one's a few days old, but something that was an important thing today, but it's important to have all the context. Uh, fans hoping for Watch 2 to release soon may not have to wait too much, way too much, or sorry, my, <coughs> God, dude, may not have much longer to wait with Blizzard reported aiming to have the game ready to ship before summer 2022. <sighs> that's, that's not that far away. That's, that's seven, eight months. Um, depending on where you count it. Well, Blizzard has only revealed bits and pieces of a long-awaited sequel to their 2016 sh hero shooter so far. We do know is the game will be drastically different from the original. For one, Overwatch 2 will be switching from a 6v6 to a 5v5 format with the removal of one of the tank roles. Additionally, the game will feature a full PvE campaign mode along with the single-player hero missions. Wait, is the campaign any hero missions? Oh, I thought it was all... Okay. Um... Blizzard went dark again after revealing the 5v5 change back in May and has yet to provide any major updates since, leading some to suspect there will be some major delays. True. Overwatch 2 releasing quarter 2, 2022. As reported earlier by Dexterous Richard Lewis, an internal Activision Blizzard source, has stated that getting the game released as soon as possible is one of the highest priorities of the company. Let's look. Okay, it's a different article. I'm not reading that. I thought it was like a tweet. Cool. Um, we're more than aware, and we need to get uh, we need to get it out. The source said, "So the word is to get the dev team has been told to lock in the features the game has, get it fixed, and get it shipped. We're looking to get it out before the summer of 2022." Okay. Do you know what that means? You know what that means chat that means stop what you're fucking doing remember 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 in school remember in school the teacher would be like stop what you're doing finish what you're doing right now you have a minute two minutes you're done right that's what this is like everyone's working you know no one's like yeah da, 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 da. we're building a bunch of stuff we're building we're building and it's like ah you have one minute finish so it went from building to polishing. That's what that change probably means. So what was likely happening was they were still building and improving new features and building new content. It is now switched to polishing. Now think of it this way. Consider this. When you swap from a 6v6 to a 5v5 format, and I've tested some like funny bullshit 5v5. Think of how much stuff has to change. How many cooldowns that need to either be reworked or change the numbers of or completely changed 
from flashbangs to bash to all the CC that's in the game to um, how do you make the tank roll feel better without being overpowered? There's a lot of stuff that kind of has to go into it. So they probably went from making new heroes, new missions, um, uh, new abilities, new types of abilities, etc. To, okay, fit work with what we got. Make the numbers work. Balance the game. Now, okay. I hate to be mean. But it took five years to even get close, get close to balancing the game. And then they broke it again with double shield. And we've been sitting in double shield meta for months. And even I took like a month long break. I come back. It's still double shield. Um, so yeah. Uh, not a lot of confidence on that part. But uh, at least we got a date. Another source in franchise management has stated that the goal is to release the game by quarter two of 2022 from April 1st to June 30th. I'm assuming that means franchise ma management, like the franchises, like the Overwatch League teams. Um, so probably someone in a team leaked it. <clears throat> the timing of the release will factor in the league schedule because obviously they don't want to switch game versions in the middle of a season. Remember that. Whether or not the game is in a steady place at launch will remain to be seen, but it's clear that a resurgence of the IP of utmost resurgence of the IP is of utmost importance to Blizzard. Probably more the teams than Blizzard at this point, to be honest with you. I have a feeling that they're more focused on fixing WoW, but that's nor here they're there, nor here nor there. Hopefully, the game releases in a steady state and fans can return to the world of Overwatch once again. This is today, right? Beautiful. These actually lead into each other. So, this tweet came out from Jonathan Spector. Jonathan Spector is VP of the Overwatch League, saying, I've seen a lot of speculation regarding a 2022 start date for Overwatch League. We can confirm that our plan is to begin next season in April 2022. We will share more details with the 2022 roster construction timeline soon. <coughs> more info generally on our 2022 season as we get closer to April. So Karq quoted this, and he said something that I completely agree with. I can't believe it. It's finally coming. If pros are able to play beginning April 2022, that means it's likely a closed beta beginning February and March to get the teams practicing and strategizing 5v5 a few months beforehand, maybe. So there's some big things that come out of that. Number one, we have to have a beta coming up soon. What I think Karki's missing is they might do a closed and open beta. I don't know, though. It could be just closed. We'll see. Because of the timeline. If there's a closed and open beta, that means we could have it even earlier, like December or January, and then have the open beta, beta in February, March. But if they're going to roll with a, a very rushed schedule, having pros and streamers and stuff like that play the pat or play the game two months before it releases is genuinely the best thing they could do. And the reason for that is they can balance all day long. And I hate to say, I've, I've talked about this a bajillion times, but when we watch the Overwatch 2 5v5 release games, um, you know, it... <sighs> It looked terrible. And part of that I said, and I gave it up to, is maybe because all the devs that were playing were like gold. So you couldn't actually see what the game would look like. And so the reason that's dangerous is if it's a bunch of people balancing that don't play at high level, then it's hard to say that they're going to balance something and not break it. Now, remember, release Overwatch had some fucking broken shit. And close beta Overwatch, <coughs> Shield Bastion. Don't even get me started. Um, DZ things we sent through October. Appreciated. Um, so what this means is if we're getting, or at least pro players, maybe streamers and stuff, will get a closed beta and some others as well. Uh, closed beta in in February or March. That means we can we can break the game very quickly. Which means that when Overwatch Two is released to the general public, it will be an even better game, which is good. Which is a good thing. Um, my only my only concern is back on this other article. Where is it? 
So in the word is, so the word is, the dev team has been told to lock in the features the game has. Get it fixed and get it shipped. Flash, do you think there's a coincidence you release video calling out the state of Overwatch unless a week later? No, 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 no. My, my state of Overwatch thing, I guarantee some people saw it. I guarantee you some people at Blizzard saw it. I guarantee you people saw it, but this stuff was probably already in the works. This stuff, this stuff doesn't get released overnight. Um, it doesn't really work like that. Uh, especially this big of a reveal. Um, it, it could have been something that people were like, hey, people, players are fucking pissed, you know? It, but, like, it was going to happen anyways. Like, I, I don't think so. I, I, would, I would be very, very surprised if that was, the, the, that was how it went. Um, let's see the second article. I haven't read this one yet, so we'll, we'll react to it together. Overwatch League 2022 season to start in April on Overwatch 2 early build. I, I wonder what this early build means. I wonder if the game's not going to be released. Do you think it's crazy? But do you think they would do Overwatch League on Overwatch 2 and the general public wouldn't have it for another month to like build hype? That's kind of a little weird, but maybe. I don't know. After weeks of speculation about the Overwatch League's 2022 plans and the months of rumors about Overwatch 2's development, Overwatch League VP John Spector has cal calmed nerves and announced an expected start date, April 2022. This coincides with reports about Overwatch 2's progress. It's been a long... Actually, that's not true. Um, Overwatch 2's progress was supposed to be very much slowed, and uh, it was it was possible it was going to be even later. It's been a long while now that Overwatch fans have been eagerly anticipating news about Overwatch 2's development, many hopefully trying the game's release through the upcoming Owl season. Okay. In early August, the rumor mill buzzed about Overwatch 2 delays, then in late August, Dextero sources indicated concerns about the great, the game wouldn't be ready for 2022, suggesting possible blaze, delays to Overwatch League's next season. Yes, yeah, so that's what that's kind of like what we were all getting at is we heard delays maybe past 2022. Um, with the Owl, with the Overwatch League's current playoffs expected to wrap up by the end of September, League Vice President John Spector shut down some of the speculation, and alongside his confirmation, Overwatch League spokesperson has told us. The season will start an early build of Overwatch 2. This word, early build. This word, word early build. Is it going to be played on a fucking beta, bro? Um. Oh, yeah. Uh, if this is uh, this is a true, I'm sorry to tell you guys. Uh, be very careful of... Hey, he's not very careful. Just, like, stay your hearts. Uh, a lot of players from Overwatch League are going to get dropped, especially tank players. There's about to be a lot of tank players without a job for coming up. So, um, it's kind of sad, but be ready for it. As Spectre explains, the league doesn't ex expect to begin until 2020 season two season in April. That would mean about a six month off season, leading to fan hopes that Overwatch 2 tam timeline isn't a far off, as recent rumors indicated. Uh, this was corroborated by an Overwatch League spokesperson who confirmed the new season will be played on early build of a highly anticipated Overwatch 2. That more information should be announced as we near April. Okay. For now, all the comments indicate plans and do not cement anything in stone, but fans are already quite happy with the news as it goes against numerous rumors and reports that the season and sequel will both be delayed until 2023. I think that it's... I actually don't think this is a rumor. I think that this is what was going to happen. And I think... I think my assumption of Overwatch 2 being delayed even further was not incorrect and that it actually was going to be because they still you remember what they said earlier finish up so they were still building more stuff um so they were told to stop building your new stuff and start fixing what they have and make it ready to go um so that completely changes the way they were going to work it i also think that i might have been right about maybe those big 10 million login players or whatever every month isn't actually the same thing anymore. And they're probably taking a big hit recently because I don't think the game is doing hot. I don't think it is. Despite if they said back a couple months ago in their report, like, oh, we had 10 million monthly logins. Then of course, they're going to say the absolute best number they can for shareholders. But at the same time, there's no way in light of what's happened recently and how the game feels, etc. Like, there's no way that number's staying there. So I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised, but I'm 
but I'm pleasantly surprised that we're at least going to, we got some news and we got some, we got something to work with. We announced any information as it comes available, but for now it appears that the upcoming content and competition for Overwatch won't be as far off as many worried. <sighs> so, Overwatch 2, May or April of 2022. As a creator, and this is obviously after my State of Overwatch video, as a creator, this gives me a small speck of hope. Not that it's going to be a perfect game. To be honest with you, I think it's going to be a shit show in the beginning. But the shit show is kind of fun. A shit show can be a fucking blast, right? Because if we hop in and the game is just broken, they're going to have to fix it kind of quick. Hopefully, we're going to start working towards like what Apex does and has f quick patches. Because now we're on a rush too. There's no more excuses. Hey, big man. We'll at least have fun for a few days of like, look at how fucking busted this shit is. And we'll be able to start working our way through it. Because when stuff is broken, when it releases, low-key, it's actually really fun. And Apex, I think, realizes that. And when they release new heroes, they're broken. And then they tone them back quickly. Um, so what do I think? Closing thoughts. Um, I think that this tweet actually means a lot. Because this is the bridging of the Overwatch League and, or, and Blizzard. I think that the Overwatch League was low-key our saving grace um, as a community this year. They, they put on amazing content and did a lot of good stuff. And furthermore, they probably put the most pressure on Blizzard to be like, hey, you cannot let this happen. Because when I worked in the Overwatch League two years ago, when Overwatch 2 first got released or announced, people were already clamoring to know when it's coming out. That's two years ago. I can only imagine how annoyed people are two, two years later that they still hadn't got a release date. So, take it with a grain of salt. We're gonna, we have it coming. We have it coming. We finally have some light at the end of the tunnel. We at least know where we're going. We have an, an estimated date of arrival. I think that 5v5 is gonna be a shit show, but I'm about it. Where, where did you what did you talk about what did I, can, you I can go over pretty much everything again if you want um i talked about the john inspector tweet um i talked about the article that came out right after it talking about yeah. it and talking about um how we finally have a release date and i talked about your tweet a little bit your tweet i think mm -hmm. is, is spot on because i think that yeah. i mean most of us kind of know that the best way for us to figure out if the game's going to be balanced or not is just, just let like pl like pro players and streamers just have at it for a little while and just fucking let us break the game. Mm -hmm. So that, you know, it's not like like think about like remember when the game first came out and the Bastion shielded Bastion and shit? Yep. Like like we find out really fast that like that ain't going to work, you know? Now that my now the next question I was about to impo or pose was does anybody know the exact timeline of how it all came to be in 2015, 2016? Because I know I definitely played the game in October for like three days on the weekend for an open beta weekend. And then I didn't have access to it again until the following May when it was released. Now, I wasn't sure like how much the pro players or how long they were able to play. But I know when the game was released, there was already like Team Liquid, Team Cloud9, former TF2 pros all getting access to the game for months mm -hmm. of practice. So I'm not sure how long they had it for. Um, and then we can maybe model it off that. And I just was waiting for somebody to dig up that kind of research. Mm -hmm. Were you playing the game flats back then? Or no, I think you came I was a, a few seasons I was a, late. I was a Rainbow Six Siege pro at the time. I was like, what is that game? Looks kind of cool. Rainbow Six. Yep. Back in the day. Back in the day, a controller, this fucking, the thumbstick. I was a freak on the controller, no lie. He was lie. the freak on the sticks, guys. He was a freak on the sticks. <clears throat> Drop shotting people. <laughs> But um, if anybody can actually dig it up uh, in either chats, somebody find out exactly after the three-day weekend, how long did pros have access to the to close beta? That is a good question. And if anyone in mind knows it as well. I, I mean, I said something similar. Is like, I wonder if we'll get like a closed beta where most of us... We are. Are going to get There's closed. no way. 
Yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't, I, I, they're a hundred percent well. Um, but I wonder if it'll be closed and then there'll be an open beta for really quick again, just like mm-hmm. you know, just as you mentioned. Um, I, but to that, to that, I have to ask: Have you seen the article that came out? Uh, the Dallas News. I have it open right now. Um, the Dallas News. Wait, which one's that? Can you give me that one? Which article? Uh, it's like I got the Dallas Morning News from Sean Collins at twelve twelve p.m. Give me Central that one. time. Let me just look at it really quick. Because most of these say from an Overwatch League, um, uh, like source, you know, like a spokesperson, they said they're playing on a quote early build. Yeah, even the title is early build Overwatch Two. Do you think it's possible that Overwatch Two Overwatch League will start being played before Overwatch Two gets released? Yes, I agree. Pros are going to be playing on it. Yeah. 100%. I mean, like, I'm, I'm Pros saying, were like, scrimming and competing before the game was even released in Overwatch One. True, true. And I think, I think we'll get that beta, like you said, in like February or March, right? To let them practice, and like some of us will get to play it on as well. Mm-hmm. And even I, if it's still going to come out in like, let's say they do it in May for like the anniversary, I wonder if they'll use Overwatch League people playing on, on that to like build hype for the game. That that doesn't sound like a terrible marketing idea um i think it just depends on logistics like they have to also know that if pros and streamers have access to overwatch 2 and it's uh i don't know if we're allowed to stream it or like make content too too much content for it in the interim we might have Mm -hmm. to sign some stuff or whatever but overwatch one the population will just dip dramatically or maybe not just because like the top of all the streamers are on overwatch 2 before the public even plays it like right that's that's, that's actually tough a good on the, question. the base game. It's that's hard to see really what they're. Question. Yeah, hard to see the logistics and what they're planning to do with that. That's do you think? Uh, do, was were people able to stream or watch beta? Good question. I wasn't too into it back then to remember. Um, and that's that's five years, six years ago. Is Twitch? So like that's a long okay. time ago. Yeah. All I do remember is when the game came out, I was like, "Oh, Cloud Nine. Oh, Team Liquid have a team already." Like on this first day of release, I'm like, oh, I didn't even know they've been playing beforehand. It was probably an NDA, maybe. That's what somebody in my chat was saying. There was an NDA. Wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, honestly, that wouldn't surprise me either. Um, what else? Uh, well, f- I was gonna say a five v five changed the landscape so much that team owners had the meeting last night. They had to know now because like making oh, yeah. roster changes and practicing, seeing seeing who's a good fit, trying out, scrimming, new maps, new heroes, strategies. Everything is gonna be like needs a lot of time to be worked on. So I was like maybe like yeah February March, but honestly I could see it as early as beginning like January because you That's need months to practice this stuff. I said I wonder if there's like out. a a close like super secret beta earlier and then like a more open one later on yeah maybe um, i don't even know if streamers like us will be able to get it might just be just pros who Mm -hmm. knows or potential pros trying out but if they'd open it there i don't see why they wouldn't open it to to content creators as well i'm assuming Um, so if you saw off i don't know if this one has it but on the dextero one it mentioned um it mentioned they were told to stop building and start like finishing like start finishing up like basically start polishing the game right so what that Uh means to me is they were probably trying to come up with new abilities for heroes that like something doesn't work anymore right like like say mccree they wanted to get rid of flashbang and replace it with like whip shot like the whip thing before like they were still creating fun stuff or something to uh change the game um, because I'm sure that the way the game is balanced is going to be almost impossible with how much CCs in the game, going solo yeah, tank and getting four stunned on you and just exploding. I'm sure it would just be an awful time. Um, so I'm sure that they were still trying to tweak some things, but with that announcement, they're probably told, Hey, stop doing that. Start balancing what you have, like start coming up with like, you know, like what are the numbers for it? Start tweaking things, start getting the game ready to be played instead of, you know still building upon it Mm -hmm. which i think is kind of scary good and scary at the same time because scary because well you know if they had more time could it be even better product that we're just missing out on um but it's also a good thing because it's been so long at this point um you know i think that and it's not to be mean 
but it we spent the last like four and a half years with like not being able to figure out how to balance the game um there was little points where we kind of got it right you know and got got close to being pretty balanced um even now it's pretty close but it's like double shields a little too strong again um yeah. I don't think it's going to really happen until like people start to break the game for them. Um, so it's a good thing that they're starting to polish it. Cause like if they get to a point where they're, they're happy with letting people try it and then people get their hands on it and break it really fast. Like that'll make an even better product when, when, you know, when the new people get to play it again, cause this release is going to be make or break this whole, whole game again this you franchise. know what we, yeah, we could yeah. easily go back into the golden era of two or three years everyone plays this game every single day or it could be a few months and like oh that was it oh and i'm hoping it's the first one Don't well want to be right i've always thought that the pvp side and the, the things were already like set in stone for a while most of the development was for the campaign all those various storylines like overwatch 2 was based on making it pve mm -hmm. so i think a lot of their time was put there and the rest of it it's more of like halt that let's just focus on the pvp aspect so the build is ready for um the pros and at least get something out there yeah or polishing up a couple of missions or stories or whatnot that they're gonna do and maybe halting some of the hero releases that they anticipated to have i think they did mention like six or eight new heroes on release mm -hmm. which is a lot um which also lot. tells me or it also implies they probably had like five plus in the bank like waiting you know, for like trickle releases every few months. Because mm -hmm. before we used to get new releases every what six months? Was it between heroes? Or was uh, it even faster? Are you talking about original? Was, like when it was like Ana Rissa? Yeah, when it was fresh. Yeah. Was that four months? I think it was yeah, it was less than six months, I think. So I'd say four months oh sounds God. about right. Three or four yeah. months. And then four months, every two months a new map. Like they should definitely have some in the bank to make it like they probably also have, have to uh content. change map design for all those pvp maps that's right so everything is balanced for four six v six they'd have to change some design for it man the balance of this is going to be out of it's going to be whack i'm yeah. just going to say it right now and blizzard isn't perfect at it they were pretty good at fixing stuff originally does anybody remember like release eichenwald it was like awful on like certain chokes oh like, my Castle. god they had to, the tiny ass else first choke too Oof. yeah did they expand that too yeah no, i can't remember the, i don't think i don't think the thing on the left was there too like you know that little side door Oh, I don't think that was that... ever there in the beginning one. Oh my goodness. And then Temple like, of Anubis. Remember first Temple of Anubis? Dude, that was worse than oh, Paris. <laughs> it really was. <laughs> Holy so, like, shit. I'm, I worry for map balance because it's completely different to, to, to balance. And this is like, there's probably some really talented like Overwatch like regular players on the dev team. But like to have a full roster of five like high ranked players, five high ranked players to like play test consistently, which... As far as I know, they haven't play tested because we know if pros play test, they all have big mouths. Somebody's gonna say something. Yep. So if nobody says something, they probably haven't. I I just strongly feel the balance is gonna be out of whack. So when the pros maybe do get to try January, February to start practicing and rehearsing for scrims and trying out, they're just gonna be like, dude, this map is like awful. Like, they're gonna have to make adjustments like on the fly, maybe. You know, quick patch hot fix stuff. I think the more people that can play it with like to, to get more data the better i'm certain they will maybe have like a small three three day weekend for everybody to try overwatch 2 at least a certain build of it maybe try one mission mm -hmm. i mean they had a they had a playable mission in 2019 i don't think it would be awful to like just put another mission up there for, for everybody to, to test out yeah for pve and then try some bare bones quick play pvp that's true that's true i wonder if like huh i it's, it's almost it's almost impossible to know like what other stuff that could have been possibly working on you know mm -hmm. like past just like story and, and 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 new heroes and balance and new maps because like you know when overwatch first released did anyone even like know of any of the arcade modes were the arcade modes even like ever even a thing like i wonder if they've decided to also spend expand upon that because i think you figured out recently that arcade and is, is something that a lot of people do play like very casually um i wonder if they've identified a, that as well i had a poll with seventy five thousand votes on it 
which is a it's a decent sample that's size. A good I amount. Say. That's, that's that's probably, probably like ninety percent of the Orwash community. Ten percent. That's ninety like percent. Oh my god! <laughs> Fucking got him, dude! <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, All right, that's what I have here. Uh, Seventy-five thousand votes. Quick play was thirty-eight percent. Comp was fifty percent. Arcade was ten percent. Custom games was two percent. Just for people who play it the most, not just if you play it in so general. So quick play, 38, competitive 50, arcade 10, custom games 2. I think that custom games is actually much higher than that. I think if you could, if yeah. this was like a multiple choice, like you could choose like multiple options. I know a lot of people play custom games in queue. Yeah, but I did say play the most. So there's a couple of ways, no, like true. obviously this data is very skewed. Like people who might follow my, like my my content might be a bit more of competitive players. Like no matter where you pose these questions, there's going to be a bit of bias because like if the general, let's say the general play Overwatch Twitter did it or mm -hmm. something like that. I mean, I think maybe a lot more casual people would follow it. The only people who would know these true numbers is obviously Blizzard. Yep. Play time on each mode. But based off this, only half the people in comp, I actually thought there would be more. I thought most people played comp. I thought it was like 70%, but... Figuring out it's only half, mm -hmm. and most people just logging in to play either quick play or arcade. That makes up for the next forty-eight percent. Yep. Huh. Interesting though. It actually is interesting. Mm -hmm. Huh. Oh, so someone said, "Where's my versus AI mode?" You ever, you ever seen the guy who has like uh, he plays like either sim or or diva only, and has like uh, like five thousand hours on one of them um, AI just like, against like, the AI. He... Is he like uh, playing alone, just beating up some bots? I don't know, but he's he's like the, he's like Emong level of like you know what I mean, like like five star diamond border with like max hours on like Sim or Diva. Like I think there's two of them. There's one Diva, there's one Sim, and they just play versus the AI, and they have like five, six, seven thousand hours of just Symmetra play versus AI. Jesus, it's wild. I, I don't know if anyone has ever guy. seen that. The AI player, holy fuck. Oh, I'm, I'm so happy, though, that we got something, dude. Like it took all the way till now. It took them until talking about le to league owners last night to get something out. When I now. worked when I so for those who don't know, I used to work in the Overwatch League. When I worked in the Overwatch League two years ago and Overwatch got released, like Overwatch 2 got announced. There was a lot of people who were like, OK, when? And were like not happy about not having like a release date. They're like, why even mm -hmm. announce it if you're not going to tell us? Like, when? That was two years ago. So since two years ago, I would assume the, you know, want among ownership and high, you know, like high levels is like, especially with what's happened recently, et cetera. Like you've, they've invested millions and millions of dollars as teams and they don't know when this game's coming. The game is in decline currently. Um, they, they have this, this golden arches on the horizon, but not, no news about it. And no one's being told anything. I'm assuming that a lot of them kind of started to get fed up and we're like, we need, we need to know something now, you know, cause the homestand structure, uh, structure fell apart, um, with COVID. That was a lot of teams like possible saving grace. Now homestand yeah. is just expensive. Like that is not a cheap thing to do um for teams i still think they i still think they operate that at a loss i think a lot of they the do. bank on recouping it based on like recession like concessions sorry i said recessions yeah. concessions and like some sales there converting like the hype and people like purchasing merchandise and stuff like that I, but i also heard the merchandise model for for owl teams is not great too through the grapevine i don't know how much you i can i know from, i know what it all is so i can't like say still Oh, you're not. You're still not allowed to say the the merchandise model. This but. one technically falls under like business practices, so it's a little bit different. Right. It's. Right, uh, right, I know right. what it is. I know how it happened. Uh, right, because you worked in it. All yeah. I heard mine was through like hearsay, so mine's not true or you not. Probably, All I know if you, is like if it's you not heard, great. if you hearsay it enough, you probably know what it is. Because like yeah. a lot of people were not happy about it. Mm -hmm. Um, but even. Even that home stand at a loss thing, like I've seen those numbers. It's scary how much of like a negative it is. Um, right. But for big it's teams never, and sports is like when you run operations like that, you do get some mm -hmm. benefits like from the government and stuff like that for like, you know, running public events, stuff like that. So mm -hmm. like there's a way to work it back, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like. 
but still i think the it's business tough. and economics this is pretty fascinating i don't think any of them expected to operate at like a pro like i know there a lot of teams were not like doing this to make money they're just investing in like the brand and the, mm -hmm. the title and potential partnerships and growing growing themselves like as an esports hub like in their cities or whatnot yep so i know it's tough though the franchise owners are probably just operating at bigger loss than they anticipated which like pressured their budgets and their shareholders stakeholders whatever so they're mm -hmm. like hey owl we need answers now yep we need something need something to hold on to yeah <coughs> yeah so Gave some, no gave them some, some copium. Yeah, and some copium. Okay. We need the copium <laughs> supply had run out at this point. It was time. We 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 stocked up. We got a new we got a new uh, a new jar. Yep. Everybody's <laughs> everybody has their candle a little relit right now. At least it's around the horizon. There, there's a little bit of the sunlight peeking through now. A little yep. bit of light. There's like a firm date. Nobody said a date, and then I saw Hastro quoted, and he put an exact date. Oh, what did he say? I didn't see that. April 22nd, 2022. April 22nd. Somebody said that was a Friday. I didn't look at the calendar there. So that would be pretty, Friday. pretty safe then, because I think Owl started on Friday last year. Yeah. Nobody said a date except him. And then I'm like, oh, he's Dallas owner. And then I saw the first leak was from Sean Collins, who was a D Dallas writer, mm -hmm. the Dallas feel. And I'm like, oh, OK, it's probably legit. OK. OK. It's on the horizon lunar. Con OK, you, you could just leave right now. You can take your leave. <laughs> The horizon, the horizon lunar, colony. lunar colony. God, <laughs> you think that map's been reworked, or did they just throw it in the trash? Uh they probably tossed. I mean, you can still play it in quick play. Yeah, but like, yeah. anything else you got on this? Um, no, not really. Did anything new come out? You mean in the so last like the twenty minutes? Uh, I don't think so. I had a fun segment. I was but trying to read like overwatch forum takes but like i don't know i can't i don't think my brain can can handle it uh, that's a dangerous area to go into i did that i remember when the overwatch 2 pv live stream came out i had a segment for like 45 minutes uh, um just reading uh hot takes from uh God, from the out, it's the like overwatch scalding forums. acid takes dude <laughs> just oh man like they're just so off it's so wrong i'm like dude come on <sighs> yeah I, I don't really have much i was just gonna say if it sucks ass and everybody agrees it sucks ass i just hope they have like everybody said blizzard is not afraid of doing classic modes anyways so it's more of like will they have an overwatch classic 6v6 mode maybe the the open queue equivalent where it's like 6v6 queue up with a ranked like mm -hmm. sr bracket and stuff like that but would it be a dead mode because it feels like any anytime they try like competitive deathmatch and like competitive open queue like just, oh my God. everybody just plays open the new queue. stuff so people might just convert to the 5v5 as long as it doesn't suck too much i, I still think it's gonna be a shit show i'll be honest with you i i i, I think i think changing a, a core element of the gameplay that big it's not like it's not like call of duty where call of duty took away a player you know like it was mm -hmm. like in the league it was like from 5v5 to 4v4 that's not mm -hmm. that big of a difference when especially you know, in, in Overwatch, the tank role is, is arguably the, the hardest role to balance, the hardest role to play, and it's the biggest factor in the game. You know, like, you know, tank diff is a is a meme for a reason, you know? Um, so it's hard to say. It, it's hard to say, but I, I don't know how it's going to work with certain things like we remember we did that custom game mode like things like zarya just don't make sense and diva just don't make sense like yeah as a single tank they just don't which um, is why they need like people to hard practice it in in early january february to like just be like hey this feels awful but like you need time on it i remember a lot of people like had like a pretty mixed reaction um with uh with a couple of releases some of them ended up being okay a bit over time so there's always like going to be a knee-jerk reaction um mm -hmm. until people give it more time i don't know it's 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 tough yeah it's gonna be tough it's definitely gonna be tough at least there was like the whole respawn time i don't know when we played the test mode did we have the the fixed respawn time because we played it with 10 seconds it felt a bit slow and then i remember i was like counting like in my head like one mississippi two mississippi and i rewatched the live stream that they mm -hmm. teased and i'm like dude these respawn times are like seven seconds mm -hmm. or eight seconds which is way shorter increases the pacing um 
and then the map balancing where they're going to cut respawn it's just changing like the geometry of stuff to balance for 5v5 like, how do you change it do you make it narrower do you make it wider like how do you even do that that's a good question because like they add more boxes like less havana. boxes less obstruction true yeah, like things like havana well you know like like are you, how do you how do you change havana like do you add more pieces of cover like on first point work like you know like that that spot every, every sniper sits up top right like how do how do you how do you change that that attack right there like do you have to uh i don't know do you, do you have to like add more routes do you have to uh add more places of cover do you completely take away that high ground like what do you what do you add or take away you know to because like the idea is you're gonna have to make the map smaller right because there's less people not bigger mm -hmm. Um, but making it smaller, you'd have to make it significantly smaller. Cause like the only thing I could think of is if you just close the buildings in like way, way in so that like, if you, way you play Havana now is especially double shield, like your Rissa shields, the cart, then your Sigma shields next, then your Rissa reshields the cart. Right. And then by that point you're up to the corner and you're pretty much like good to go. Um, but if you only have one shield or one tank on that cart, like. You'd have to make the sides like much smaller so it has like you have like less room for error but at the same time though then it's more of a choke you know like do you do you just make the shield the tank's shield bigger like like imagine is it a world where ryan's shield's even larger oh jesus dude like is that the answer you know is that the answer yeah for just for for cover Ugh. Yeah, and there, there's there's so many approaches to, to to new map balance. That's if they like re rework the old ones, which would make sense because they already have like 20 plus maps like made. You might as well do a little tweak than like completely redesigning new stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know they're getting rid of two CP. I was actually gonna, I was wondering if they're gonna repurpose that, like they'll change the game mode for it, like repurpose those assets and the color scheme and the the lore. It's like we're in Hanamura, we're in Japan, you know, Hanzo Genji, like that's the area. Yep, maybe like reuse portions of it interesting i mean it's possible because a lot of those maps are very linear like you can yeah. make it a push map if you changed a lot of the core elements like if you say even hanamura if you made the if you changed a little bit of the like the map archetype and just made it so it's like uh, a little bit more curvy and then changed where some of the walls were you could mm -hmm. make it a push map, technically. You could. They, 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 there's actually kind of like a push mode in Hanamura on Heroes of the Storm, if anybody here plays HOTS, which sadly I do a little bit. Oh, um, my condolences. There, there is like... <laughs> honestly, <laughs> it's a pretty decent MOBA. I kinda, I'm kind of sad it doesn't have the same uh, same uh, love that it does for like League and, and Dota, but uh, mm -hmm. they actually have like a push, a similar push mode where you kind of like go back and forth on the, uh, the payload in the middle there, but like mm -hmm. that's the push thing on both sides. Mm -hmm. um yeah you just use the just use those assets i think they did somebody said they did talk about like wanting more people to use environmental for cover somebody mentioned destructible cover that's interesting like is it like a wood wall that can fall over or like you know is it like you know does it have to be like massive hits like does it have to be like a burst of x amount of damage to make it fall like mm -hmm. like imagine if like a da like it had to hit I don't know. It had to receive 300 damage at once, like within like a half a second to fall over. Like you'd have right. to like helix rocket, swing on it with a hammer, um, fan it, etc. Like you'd have to have everybody hit it at once and then it would fall over and like give you an advantage. That would be kind of like weird, but huge. I like and even like repairable, even like repairable uh, cover too. Maybe. I don't know. Cause right now, like maybe top of Hollywood, you like break the railings and stuff, but it like stays for both rounds. But what if you like, I don't know, like general cover. I don't know. There's a lot mm -hmm. of different things we can add to the game to make it feel more. Uh, Torber actually repairs buildings. This now? role. Yeah. Oh, that'd be kind of cool for him. He can actually like patch the walls a little bit, make some artificial cover for your team. Yeah, He's your team shield. Interesting. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like I, I would think it'd be very, 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 very limited piece of cover. If anything, Um, like maybe it's possible. Huh? Well, Okay, I'm gonna refresh competitive Overwatch to see if there's anything new. And other than that, I don't know what else to. Is there anything else? Nope.
we put, we got our crumb for the next four months, so that's probably it. Yeah, we're, we'll be riding this high for the next four months. <laughs> God, that is ah, oh, dude, not wrong, but still. Oh my god. Well, 